Hello, my name is Ed Tate. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we help individuals and teams win high stakes presentations. And you don't have to be a sales professional in order to make a high stakes presentation. Let me give you an example. Back when I was in high school, I was painfully shy. However, I had a coach who gave me some really, really good advice. And it happened to be my incredibly handsome cousin who went by the nickname of Pretty Ricky. Now I recognize today there is a rap artist who goes by the moniker of Pretty Ricky, but my cousin Ricky was the original Pretty Ricky. Let me share with you how Pretty Ricky was. I grew up in Chicago and no matter what party we went to throughout the Chicago metro area, the following thing would always take place. Women would walk up to my cousin Ricky and hand them their phone number completely unsolicited. And do you remember after Halloween, when you would go home and you would sort your swag and you would separate the good candy from the fruit or the bad candy? Well, Ricky would do the same thing with phone numbers. He would take these phone numbers out of his pockets and he would like literally throw them in the air, let it rain, and he would proceed to sort the good candy from the bad candy. I remember one time a piece uh, phone number, which had been identified as bad candy, fell off the table. I dove for it before it hit the floor. You see that bad candy? That was good candy. You see, my cousin Ricky was spoiled. Anyway, we're seniors, and we should share a locker. And it's between classes. And Ricky says to me, he says, hey, Eddie, I know you've got a crush on Lolita. When are you going to ask her out to the prom? You better hurry up before someone swoops her up. And I said, well, Ricky, she'd never go out with a guy like me. You know, out of our 490 seniors, she's in top five academically. She's a cheerleader. Plus, she's just been named the prom queen. She'd never go out with a guy like me. And Ricky asked me a couple of questions. He says, question number, let me ask you a question. Question number one, is she going out with you now? I said, no. He says, question number two, if you ask her and she says no, will she be going out with you in the future? I said, no. So she's not going out with you now. She won't be going out with you in the future. Is that right? Yes. So basically your circumstances haven't changed, have they? I said, no. He said, but Eddie, if you ask her and she says yes, then everything changes. He said, don't you tap out. Never take yourself out of the game. Don't you say no before they say no. Always ask. I'll repeat that again. Don't tap out. Never take yourself out of the game. Don't you say no before they say no. Always ask. By the way, that's the only good advice I've ever received from my cousin, Pretty Ricky. He kind of peaked early in the wisdom category. And guess who took Lolita to the senior prom? That's right, Pretty Ricky. Okay, were you not paying attention? I told you he was pretty. I'm kidding. I did take Lolita out to the prom because she said yes. Also, my cousin Ricky, we went on, a, we double dated. So he, he just kind of, he was there for my, my confidence, if you will. And it was a remarkable experience. And that was the defining moment in my life. I can literally look back on my life and I can see that my life changed. It changed the trajectory of my life forever. In my sales career, I've, I've sold close to a a billion dollars worth of products and services, all because of the advice I got from my cousin, Ricky. Never tap out. Never take yourself out of the game. Don't you say no before they say no. Always ask. If you like this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like us, and, and share this video. My name is Ed Tate, where we help non-sales professionals win high-stakes presentations. I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next lesson.